as a means of introducing farmers to good agronomic practices aimed at tackling low soil fertility status, which is a major contributing factor to the low cassava production on farmers' fields. The Crop Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, in collaboration with OCP Africa, organized a Farmers' Field Day program for farmer groups in Ampinkrum, a suburb of the Chiman in the Bono East region. The program, according to Dr. Kennedy Ajiman, is to help increase cassava production as well as ensure food security in the area. We are here today um, to help farmers adopt some of the improved agronomic practices for cassava production. The reason being that in recent times, the cassava production on farmer fields are really declining. Yields are very low on farmer fields compared to the potential yields that are uh, associated with um, research fields. Now what we're realizing is that even when farmers are applying fertilizer, they do not apply the fertilizer at the appropriate time and also the quantities that is associated with the yields that are expected. Here at the OCP Fertilizer Evaluation Farm, we noticed that cassava tubers that had OCP fertilizers increased in size and numbers compared to those with no fertilizer. Dr. Kennedy indicated that just like any other food crop, Cassava production does better with the proper usage of fertilizers. What we have observed is that for fields that were fertilized with OCP fertilizer, we have seen that the number of tubers per each plant increased over those that were not fertilized. And then we want farmers to understand that when you fertilize cassava, you would have appreciable yields and this will make your farming practice more commercial and productive. Director of Agriculture for the Techima Municipality, Mr. James Adu, admonished farmers to be wary of the proper usage of fertilizers as it has a direct impact on the output and quality of the produce. In promotion, I think we have to still advise the farmers to use the fertilizer. But the most important here that we, we want to stress is the, the co co correct time of application, the good agronomic practices, in such a way that it will not affect the, the quality of the cassava in terms of its post harvest usage. These farmers here were taken through a series of lectures which includes the correct fertilizer application, farm management, soil characteristics, climate change amongst others. Some of these beneficiaries shared with joiners how the training has impacted positively on their lives. Kofi Buanya is one of them. The benefits associated with this is that I used to get a care track of produce per one acre, but with this, we get up to three care tracks, and this has really helped me. For Richard Dogbe of OCP Africa, the introduction of the 11 2021 is to help improve the yield of farmers as well as check soil fertility. Um, so far, we have developed one product which is 11 2021, and this product um, is a multi formulation that can be used on several crops as um, looking at the application rate and then how what you want to use it for so we decided to move it to cassava or the tubers and so far um it's been successful dr kennedy edgeman cautioned farmers to adopt good agronomic practices to help check climate change reporting for joy news anna sabit and pim Krum.